Hey guys, John Eric here again. Uh, doing a delivery here in a second of a brand new Zippo brick. Want to shoot a quick video before it's gone forever because I'm certain, unless I make another one for him, I'll probably never make one like this again. Uh, this guy has a Supra, so we put Supra on there. Uh, it's really tricked out, like a million horsepower or something. And I'm not sure what his infatuation is with the Assassin's Creed, but we make this guy all kinds of lighters and stuff with this logo on it. Um, we make him a lot of stuff with that logo, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, this is Zippo Brick. This one's a little bit different than the other ones you've seen. We increased the thickness of the top by 35%. I'll take it off in a second and show you what that looks like. Uh, this is a crosshatch pattern all the way around. And then the back is also a crosshatch pattern. Uh, these bolts are a real booger to make. Uh, the smaller the stuff we make, the more difficult it is. Of course, it's got our logo on it with the crosshatch pattern. I'll just go ahead and pop this apart real quick and show you guys how it works. And I just put some random lighters here for background. I thought it'd be kind of plain if I just made a video with a Zippo brick in it, but there would be no reason for me to stack a bunch of cash in this one. Uh, we made him a very nice tool as well. This one is the baby to the bigger ones we normally use in the other bricks. But um, I really like this style of, of tool. As I say in all my videos, there's really no sense in, you know, putting it in like this and cranking it down real tight. That's not going to help anything. I don't even think I can get these bolts out of here without, uh, uh, with these gloves on. I know I can't these high polished bolts and, and uh, tools are very hard to get a hold of when you're wearing gloves like this. So I'll just spin this over like this, let the bolts fall out. So I'll show you what we did these. These came out really nice. Uh, these are mirror finished, mirror finished threads, heads, everything. We did it the whole nine yards as we always do. Now this one, we delivered the lighter quite a while ago, so I don't have a lighter to put in here. I'll just drop one of our uh, other Zippos in here. But the idea behind it is it can be displayed like this, or, whoops, as a gift. Whoops, that's upside down. Put the lid on like that. That's mm -hmm. a perfect fit. Then of course you can drop this lid back on very easy. We've been selling a lot of these. Customers are going bananas for these. Um, I hate to toot my own horn, but this is probably one of our better ideas. Actually, I don't even think this was my idea. A customer was asking for something, and we talked for a few minutes, and uh, we came up with this idea. So we built some prototypes, which uh, if you've been following my channel, we have several uh, videos about the beginning stages of making these. And that's it. It's a very, very nice gift box. Uh, we can do any color, any finish. Uh, we have lots of different options. Um, if you guys saw my most recent video, we're doing a honeycomb pattern now, which came out absolutely stunning. So we'll probably do some with honeycomb pattern. In fact, I think I have a honeycomb pattern right here. So this is a demo piece, uh, just one of our 86 millimeter badges to show you what different patterns look like. So. You can imagine the honeycomb pattern. Uh, we do different sizes of honeycomb pattern also. There's one called a dimple. I'll show you the dimple real quick if I can find one. Uh, the dimple's really, really neat pattern. We haven't done much with the dimple pattern, but it's definitely one of my favorites. I really like this pattern. Uh, it's simple. Uh, these dimples are uh, shallow enough. I'm able to polish down inside of them. And of course, depending on what angle you hold it at, depends on what look you get. But uh, I should just make a video of all the different uh, finishes we can do and patterns because they're pretty cool. Anyway, let me pop these screws back out and get this lighter out of here before I forget. Because I am susceptible to forgetting. I left some money in a brick the other day and I was just about to ship it out. My guy comes to me and he's like, hey man, there's, there's cash in here. And I was like, uh-oh. That's not good. I'm sure he would have been really excited to get a brick full of cash. Real money anyways. So there you have it guys, that is Zippo Brick number, I don't even know, we've done quite a few of these, so hope you enjoy the video, 
Uh, we start giveaways today's Wednesday, uh, September 22nd. On Friday, we do our first giveaway. I think it's gonna be a Zippo brick with a custom-made Zippo. I'm not sure yet. Probably just gonna wake up, flip a quarter, and decide what we're gonna give away. But whatever we give away, I promise you, as I've always promised, should be worth at least 500 bucks. So it's gonna be, if it's a Zippo brick, it's gonna be a really nice one. Uh, if it's a regular brick, uh, that wouldn't even get our most basic brick. So uh, stay tuned, make sure they have comments, like the videos, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we make lots of cool stuff. And I keep making cool stuff because you guys see my videos and message me and say, hey, dude, can you make this? 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 And we keep making it. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you watching. Take care. God bless.